Hi, JK friends. Welcome back to day 14 of our virtual learning together. Today, your signing color is going to be your daddy's favorite color. So last night, I called up my dad and I said, hey, dad, is your favorite color blue or green? And he said, green, like the grass on the golf course. So if you do not know your daddy's favorite color, run on in and say, daddy, what's your favorite color? Grab that marker color or colored pencil and sign in on line 14 in your daddy's favorite color. Go do that now and meet me right back here. Great, now you're all signed in in your dad's favorite color. Today, Miss Jessica is going to do a little science. I'm gonna teach you about oviparous animals. Oviparous animals are animals that hatch from an egg. And this time of the year, in the spring, lots of baby animals are being born and they're hatching from eggs. For today's lesson, you will need to gather some supplies. You will need paper, paint, paintbrush, crayons, markers, and a pencil. Go gather those supplies and meet me right back here. Great, now you've got all of the supplies that you need for Miss Jessica's lesson. First, I want you to learn a little bit about oviparous animals. So for just a minute, you're gonna pause Miss Jessica's video. Miss Jessica has given mommies and daddies a link to that video. And you're gonna learn all about different animals that hatch from eggs. And then after the video, come back here for the rest of the lesson. All right, scientists, did you learn a lot about oviparous animals? Wow, fish and reptiles and birds and amphibians and all these different kinds of animals hatch from eggs. Now, you are going to make an animal that hatches from an egg, but we're going to disguise the outside of the egg so no one knows what's hatching inside. Are you ready to begin? The first thing you need is a pencil, a piece of paper, and some scissors. Okay, first I want you to take your white paper and I want you to fold it in half. Then I want you to draw a nice big oval, the shape of an egg, so I'm gonna to try to cover up that whole space because I don't wanna waste any of my paper. Now holding my paper closed, I'm gonna cut through both sheets of paper together all the way around that oval that I just made. Now you have two ovals the same size. One of the ovals you're gonna set aside for later, okay? On this oval, you are going to draw a picture of one of those oviparous animals you learned from the video. So draw it right here. You may use crayons, you may use markers, but make it really clear because I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with these later on in the video, all right? Go do that now. Miss Jessica wanted to use paint, but all I had was one bottle of dried up Crayola paint. So guess what I did? I made my own paint. I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. mine in a can container to save it for later and to do that you'll need a funnel to put it in the bottle if you 
you are just using that, this for today's activity, you can leave it right in the bowl that you mixed it in, okay? Now the next part of this lesson is optional. If you would like to decorate the front of your egg with markers and crayons, you may do that. If you would like to use watercolors, you may do that. I'm gonna use this paint that I made. So I'm gonna try, get a tray and I'm gonna flip it over. Then I am going to paint all over the bottom of a tray. Okay, now with your finger, you could use a paintbrush if you wanted, you're gonna make designs all in the paint. Now, I'm gonna pick up my plain egg and I'm going to put it right on top of that design. Don't press too hard. Are you ready? Now we're gonna lift it up. Wow, look at my egg. Now let's let that dry. Okay, now the decorative part of my shell, the outside of my egg is all dry. Did you use crayons to decorate the outside of your shell or markers? Or did you try paint like Miss Jessica? Okay, now go gather your other part of your egg too. So you should have two parts, your decorative outer shell and the picture of the animal that's growing inside. Okay, I have my two parts. I have my penguin, because penguins are oviparous animals, and I have the outside of my shell. I'm going to show you how to put them together like a book. Okay, friends, you have two options. You can either use a stapler and staple the two pages together on the left-hand side so that you can open it like a book, or you may use glue and you're only gonna put glue on this left-hand side so that when you stick it together, you can still open it like a book, okay? You go choose how you're gonna put your two eggs together only on the left-hand side, okay? Okay, friends, do you have your little egg book? Now, I have some very important instructions for you. You need to hold on to this for a whole week until our next Zoom meeting. Miss Jessica will send an announcement to mommies and daddies when we're gonna have that Zoom meeting. And you will bring this with you. So think of a very special spot where you can keep it safe. Maybe you could clip it up onto the fridge. Maybe you could put it on a bulletin board, hang it in your room. Keep it safe for a whole week until our next Zoom meeting. Okay, friends, I enjoyed painting and learning about oviparous animals with you today. You will not see Miss Jessica for a whole week. I will see you back here after spring break. Have a great week, friends, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.